what's happening guys, Han Yolo, another sneaker video, and I haven't done one of these in a while just because it's been wet out, and you know me, I don't wear sneakers in the rain unless they're uh, specific ones like foam posits or just anything that's very water repellent or water resistant, but I just realized today at the gym that I don't think I've done a video on these before, and I've been wearing these a lot, um, and they are the Metcons, uh, Nike Metcons there. Uh, these are the first Metcons um, ever, I believe. Uh, they're up to like four. I think five is coming out sometimes, uh, sometime this year, I believe. Uh, but yeah, these are Metcon ones, man. Uh, I wear them all the time at the gym. I love squatting in them. I love doing deadlifts. Just overall, a very solid shoe. I'll put one shoe down just so I can show you more of the shoe here. Um, up top, you got the uh, pattern lace here, laces. Uh, just black and red, very simple, but it goes with the shoe because it's black, red, gray, and white. Uh, you got the red fly wire with that same pattern, of course, both sides because, you know, otherwise it wouldn't work. And I love fly wire, as you know from my other videos, but fly wire works really, really well, um, or at least I think so, in keeping your foot inside the shoe. So any, like, lateral movements, uh, your foot's stable, man. As long as you lace it and engage you gotta engage the fly wire. You don't engage it, you um, lace your shoes very loosely, it's not gonna do anything for you. You gotta tighten these up. You, you don't have to strangle the crap out of your foot, but you gotta engage that fly wire. If not, it's just sitting there. And just, if there's slack in the fly wire, then when you, uh, try, you do lateral movements, the, your foot's gonna slide off and that, there's gonna be slack there. It's not gonna hold you back until you hit uh, a certain point where the uh, fly wire is tight. I'm not sure if that makes any sense to you guys, but like if you were to tighten them up, there's less slack so it'll hold your foot in. So your foot won't move as much if you tighten it up so there's like very little slack in those uh, in the fly wire strings. Uh, moving on, there's a, uh, I don't know if there's any air cushioning in here. I don't believe so. I could be wrong, but I don't believe so because it sits very, very close or low to the ground, which is nice. Um, which is why I like them for squatting, deadlifting, uh, pretty much anything really. Uh, but squatting, I used to squat in my Kobe, I still do. I squat in Kobe's, I squat in KD's, just because I like uh, the cushion in the KD's and I like how the Kobe's are so low to the ground. Um, but I have since switched over to these. I've been wearing these quite a bit, man, just because they're so versatile. And I just leave them out in the garage and I just grab them and go. Um, yeah, man, it's just, and the rubber here, like they got different rubber material um, on different portions of the shoe. Uh, I'm assuming it's just for grip and durability, but you got RS001 rubber back here. It's a nice touch up to label it. I'm doing this, I'm trying to do this in natural lighting too, so I don't have an actual artificial light up. Um, so it might be hard to see, I apologize, it just looks a lot nicer without you know the artificial light. And you got 004 sticky rubber up here. In the forefoot in the toe area i'm assuming that's softer rubber just so you can get more grip up here because usually you're gripping in your forefoot and your toes and then your heel that's most likely um denser uh, more durable rubber because um, the heel area is usually the part that you know uh, wears out the quickest on the shoe and then you got some phylon cushioning here um, in the heel and the heel cup is just uh, it's not like an it's not a huge uh, heel cup, I suppose. It sits fairly low. Um, material soft, is pliable. You can see I can squish it. And you got some reflective bars back there. Uh, if you're treading out at night or whatever, nice touch. The tongue is just a piece of fabric with you know very little cushioning, but it works. It's very comfortable. And the sizing on this, the size is size nine and a half for me. If it's true to size, in my opinion, uh, you might be able to get away with half a size down because sometimes I catch myself like catching the uh, front of my toe area, the front of the shoe uh, as I'm walking. But I feel like if it's fairly true to size, um, nine might be too tight. It's one of those shoes where, you know, you're not going to get an exact good fit for you. You, you got, just got to pick one or the other. And nine and a half seems to work for me, man. Um, and I know there are other versions of this, Flyknit versions um, of the newer ones at least. And they come in some cool ass colorways, man. I really uh, was going to get an all black and gold pair. I believe that was a Flyknit pair. I never got around to it. It wasn't a big deal because I literally have worn this out once. Um, 
not to the gym, like just out and about doing errands or whatever. And you know, it was fairly comfortable. Um, I wouldn't try to run long distance in this because it's fairly flat. Uh, and I don't think there's any like other cushioning in here other than that pylon in the heel here. Uh, but for sprinting, you know, just cross training or just like working out in general, these are great, man. These work great. And the sole, I don't, I'm not quite sure what this is supposed to do. Maybe just styling, but the rubber sole actually comes up onto uh, the middle portion of the shoe here off the side. Oops, didn't mean to hit the camera there. Uh, yeah, it comes up. It looks cool, man. I, I just like it. it I, I don't know if there's a use for it. I could be wrong. It might be, but I haven't used it or I haven't thought of like, a use for them. So let's go to on the onto the on foot, man. I've been talking a lot. I mean, I meant to go to the on foot about halfway through, but I missed it. Let's go there now. So that was the on foot. Um, you it's just a shoe. You can wear it with whatever you want, man. You can wear it with jeans if you really wanted to. But for me, like I mentioned, I primarily use this um, at the gym. And you know, when I'm at the gym, I'm wearing shorts. So there's, I mean, I can see people, I've seen people wear these out and that's totally normal. Like it's just a shoe. It, it's nothing crazy. It doesn't look, it doesn't scream hardcore workout shoe, right? I mean, it can't, it has like these things on the side, which kind of makes it look like a training shoe, I suppose. But I mean, you, people wear Jordans out like casually, like Jordans that are supposed to be on the court, not retro Jordans. So, I mean, it's not it's not a big deal. You wear whatever the hell you want, man. I, I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to wear your clothes or your shoes. You just do you, you know? Anyways, man, these are the uh, Nike Metcon ones in the uh, red, black, gray, and white colorway here. Very good training shoe. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments, link below. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, dreamy dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching.